welcome back to my channel. Today I have a pretty cool, I felt really inspired to do this. This is a pick a card in which we are going to find out which goddess and spirit guides have a message for you and what what is it pertaining to. So I pulled some tarot cards, like just a couple, in to like nod in the direction of where this message needs to be directed in your life. And then we're going to see there's a, um, like an inspirational, like advice message. And then there is a message of love as well. So we have four piles. We have the Robin's, um, Robin's egg chrysoprase. We have the green opal for group two. We have kiwi jasper for group three and lemon chrysoprase for group four. Please do remember that this is a general reading. That means it is not a personal one. So not every message may resonate with you. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel drawn to more than one pile, please feel free to choose more than one um, because obviously if you feel drawn to it there's something there for you to hear so uh, go ahead take whatever time you need pause the video and meditate on which group or groups are calling to you and let's get started you who picked group one with the robin's egg crystal craze this is going to be your reading so i'm going to start off with the tarot cards first and we have the six of emotions and the four of voices. So this is the six of cups and the four of swords. All right. I feel that this group, there are several things that could be going on. Definitely, I feel like you are, you're kind of thinking back to a different time when things maybe were a little bit happier in your life, possibly, or you guys are, you know, because this is all about the Six of Cups is all about past life. It, it could be things that have occurred in your childhood. It's nostalgia and memories and things like that. So I think that um, because of the situation that we're in right now, a lot of you are probably, you know, reviewing memories of things that have occurred in this lifetime. Um, and, you know, you're just like going over them. You're going within Possibly, I feel that many of you are working on healing some past life traumas, um, also some, you know, traumas from this lifetime. Maybe you're thinking back to past relationships, um, but I do feel like you've been really heavily meditating on this and thinking about it and just like, you know, oh, remember when this, blah, 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 or because of the situation and what we are all having to be inside and we're on this, you know, dealing with this global pandemic thing, um, uh, many of us are having to face up to th certain things about us because we have to just be in our own space and our own skin and find ways to entertain ourselves and to heal and whatnot. And I do feel like a lot of you are dealing with that exact situation right now. You're learning how to be comfortable in your own skin. Maybe a lot of you are taking on new meditation practices. Um, many of you are really freaking going deep and thinking about things that have occurred in your life. And maybe you're pondering and questioning where to go from here because so many things might have changed in your life and you're like questioning it now because now that you actually have a moment of repose to stop and look back and think on everything that has come to pass you're wondering and you're meditating on what to do next possibly okay um, I also think some of you are actually stuck and you're thinking about like past relationships or oh you know I wish, you know, I didn't say this or maybe you're having bitter thoughts towards a past relationship because like the memories are coming back to haunt you or whatnot. Um, but I really feel that any of you who are going through that, you do need to heal that and release it. Okay, so let's take a look and see which goddesses and uh, deities or spirit guides could be around you right now. We have Freya, my girl. I freaking love her. This is about phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Interesting, <laughs> right? Well, oh my God, my boy. Archangel Michael, trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. 
Are you fucking kidding me? We have Freya again, you guys. Radical acceptance. She's come up twice here. So obviously, you guys, you've got that freaking feminine energy around you right fucking now. And Freya is fucking amazing. So, oh, I feel like definitely like it's interesting because this is the four of voices, which is the four of swords. And then we have Archangel Michael here with his sword. There's obviously some shit that you guys need to cut out of your life right now. You need to stop dwelling on, um, maybe some of you have like energy cords with people from your past and whatnot, or even past life shit, like karma that is, uh, haunting you in this life. It's like you need to be calling on Archangel Michael right now to cut those ties and cut that, those energy cords with um, other people's shit, other people's baggage, your past life karma and all this other kind of stuff. Because here comes Freya in twice double here for you guys, okay? To say, you know, it's time for a new cycle to begin. And I'm curious to see what the difference between these two, um, the messages and these cards. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna read both of the Freya, and then I'll I'll hit on Michael here after that. But I mean, I cannot believe you guys got him. Tw you got her twice. So that is some. She obviously is around you. Or her energy is around you. Start if you don't know about Freya, read about her, learn about her, see how that applies to your life. Okay. So, um, a phase in your life may be coming to an end, but it's important to acknowledge it is not the end. When one door closes, another opens. You may have been desperate for change, but now that it's here, you could feel vulnerable. Know that the mighty goddess Freya will guide you. Guide you. Will guide you. <laughs> will guide you. Illusions are now being revealed so that you can leave behind anything that is false. Step into your peaceful warrior-like energy and welcome the changes you deserve. Tie up all loose ends and take heart. This is an exciting time. And then about Freya, it says uh, her name means lady, which is the Norse goddess of the moon and love. She is the twin flame of Odin and warrior goddess who offers deep spiritual and physical protection to those who call on her. Her brother is also Freya, by the way. She will stand uh, before you with her shield and spear, keeping you safe from harm. That's crazy. Her shield and spear. And then here's Michael right next to She's kind of like a feminine Michael, all right? Um, she works, works closely with the moon energy and helps us recognize that our life is a cycle that is always changing. She herself is the maiden, the mother, and the crone aspect of all women and guides them to see the wisdom these cycles bring. We all go through phases and cycles of growth, and Freya is the energy that supports this. She has a raven spirit totem, which is said to represent her capacity to travel between heaven and earth. Wow. Okay, now let's check out the Freya card in here, which is interesting. We have the six of emotions and, you know, numerology-wise reduced down. This is a card six. So let's see what this card has to say because I have never read it. I've never pulled it. Uh, when you see life as a battleground, you lose sight of a more easeful way to be in the world. Can you stand in the middle of the chaos and allow yourself to center in the quiet hum of the eye of the storm? Let the peace of Freya, the Norse goddess of war, enter your mind amid the flurry of battle. She came to collect the fallen and bring them to a place of rest and recuperation. Freya is here to remind you that the acceptance of defeat is not the end. Exactly. She offers the gift of acceptance, the knowing that there is nothing to resist right now. See your world at face value and look into it with discernment. When you see with greater clarity, not taking this world so personally, mm -hmm, you will not have to fight at all. If you take full stock of your conditions surrounding to what is, you can move to higher ground, begin again, or wait until the drama dies down on its own. You are the strongest, most grounded, and most powerful when you remember this strategy the goddess Freya offers in your support. That's fucking awesome. Okay, so with Michael... <clears throat> He's card number one in this in this book too. Um, your angel team is with you now. You are not in this alone. You may fe be feeling sensitive or overwhelmed, but your angels are inviting you to take a step back so that you can come in and share their light of miracles. You may feel that your prayers aren't heard, but that doubt box blocks solutions from entering your life. Know that Archangel Michael and his legion of angels are here to help clear anything that's not serving you. So 
You can allow the miracles of change that you deserve. Exactly. You know, he is the patron saint of protection. You know, he has his sword. Um, he, his name means he was like God. You know, he wakes up leadership skills. We, you know, reminding you that you have the capacity to connect to heaven. You know, if there's any kind of challenges or anything going on in your life, always call on him. He's great for that. Okay, so some advice messages and a love message. We have going forward, which is a beautiful card. And then we have miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. And this message right here, as you go forward, you need to look at this situation that's going on in the world and all this stuff that we're dealing with right now and see the gift that is within it. Okay, and you know what's interesting is this uh, this card mentioned uh, moon cycles and working with the moon, okay, because she's like a moon goddess. And we have, this is card 13, which there are 13 <clears throat> full moons in a year. So that's kind of, you know, woo that's really cool. So anyways, with going forward, okay, let's take a look at going forward. When you receive this card, fertility, productivity, love, health, abundance, and fulfillment are ahead of you. Things are growing and expanding in your life. Keep going forward. Sometimes it may be easy to be distracted by what's occurring around you, but this card indicates that it is important to not let anything hold you back from increasing the bounty in your life. Step up and know that your needs will be taken care of. Your life is escalating and intensifying in the best possible way and for your highest good. Exactly. And I do feel... For some of you, after this is over, there's some kind of forward momentum that's going to happen for you, whether it's career-wise or relationship-wise, that's going to push you into a whole new territory. And it's going to be that whole brand new beginning, that whole new cycle. I do feel like some of you will be taking some adventures, going on some travel. Um, it could just be local or um, you're going to be spending more time outdoors in nature, I feel like, because you're going to really want to do that bad. Um, so for this miracle and blessings here, uh, you drew this card because there are many miracles happening in your life right now. The angels are asking you to look at how things are. Look again. You will find that your life is filled with miracles and blessings. Reflect on who you are and your journey to this point. Holy shit. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, recognize and accept the blessings that have occurred in your life. Situations that were not ideal brought their own gifts and lessons. And he's here to help you get over those. Uh, your existence began with the spark of a miracle. Continual blessings and miracles continue to show up in the smallest of ways. Be willing to receive these gifts. An ethereal goddess with flowing hair reaches to catch a leaf from the various leaves floating near her grasp. Hair can represent thoughts or reasoning. Check in with your self-talk and beliefs. Are you open to a miracle? Be ready for the unexpected. And because there are leaves falling, I do say, and I've been saying this since 2019, I feel very heavily that this fall is going to bring in a whole lot of changes and positive changes in that and beginnings of new cycles, beginnings of new relationships, new love. There's all kinds of stuff that's going to be occurring this, this autumn. I really feel that for a, for a large amount of people, maybe not everybody, but I feel like it is kind of like a collective consciousness feeling that I have been having for a while. Okay. So pay attention to that. So to close out this group here, I'm going to pull some little divine door messages to leave you with these, um, before we, I move on to the next group, let's see what messages come up for you. Since we are starting a new beginning, I thought that the Divine Doors are very appropriate uh, cards to use for this. Because it's like you're opening up a new chapter of your life. And I feel like the conscious, collective consciousness is definitely doing that as well. So let's take a look and see what we have here. I think I feel one more on the... Okay, there we go. So... First up, we have Jude's song, a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases. You can find peace within the strangest of places. You have trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing's not yours, but the universe at play. Have faith and breathe. We have the Odyssey. 
Take in the beauty of, con of country lands and botany. Explore the wonder like a gypsy, a gypsy traveler's odyssey. So that's crazy because we have this right here. Take in the beauty of country lands and uh, botany. Explore the wonder like a gypsy traveler's odyssey. Okay, so yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's crazy that that came up. Inner power. By your own command, you brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. Yep, because you got Archangel Michael on your back and Freya. You know, they, they, they're awesome that way. Okay, and next up we have Hummingbird Song. Nectar of sweetness and joy it brings. The hummingbird's healing as medicine it sings. Pass this card on. Sunset. Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sun's light as the sun's light burns. That's what he is all about. I got chills just now reading that. And then look at the sun right here. And it's like the sunset. And it's like, you know, this old cords, this old baggage, this old shit, you're getting rid of it. And you need to continue to try working on getting rid of it, okay? A stranger's grace. Ego fears the sudden danger, but never underestimate and never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger. Mm hmm. Maybe some of you have somebody coming into your life here that's gonna shake shit up, and it's gonna be nice. Okay, and it's, it's not somebody you know, obviously. So I'll just leave you guys with that. So that's all I have for this group. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications uh, when, of when I put out new videos. There's personal reading information in the drop-down box to get a personal reading with me or me and my Pisces twin as, as, as well as Kofi and Amazon information. And please do join me on Instagram. Come follow. I always love to have um, my uh, fellow kindred spirits come say hi to me on instagram i do love to talk to all of you so um shoot me a message or come follow and say hi and that's it for you guys i'll catch you in the next one bye who picked the green opal this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at the tarot cards first to see what area of your life that this message is more directed at we have the strength card and we have the knight of emotions which is the knight of cups Mm hmm well some of you definitely are dealing with a love uh, relationship there's somebody coming in it also could be that you are learning how to love yourself all over again in this whole situation that we're going through um, and you're learning you're learning how strong you really are and I do feel like for some of you when it's pertaining to a actual divine masculine or divine feminine that's coming in here and I do feel that it's more masculine energy than anything else even if it doesn't matter what you know sex the person is it's like they're definitely got that masculine energy um I do feel like that they're going to really teach you how much strength and resilience you really have in dealing with them okay um they're going to show you how much inner strength I do feel like you're going to need inner strength also when you're dealing with them because I feel that they are just, I am getting this really loving kind of energy, um, but it's like, you maybe you're, some of you are not used to dealing with somebody who's so romantically emotional. It's like when they come at you, it's like you just don't even know how to deal with it because it's so intense. Um... Or maybe you just have a complete, hardcore, strong, I mean, just like a really strong love for this person. And it's just like fucking hit you like a love dart. You know, um, you know, definitely, I do feel I, self-acceptance is also coming up really hard. Um, that message for some reason. Um, but I really feel this is not... I, I don't know, I'm just getting like massive beautiful feelings off of this for some reason. It's just like this really tender, just incredible strong bond between two people. And it is fucking incredibly intense, okay? And I'm just gonna clarify by pulling out, uh, what do we, wh who's here for you guys? So we have, oh my God, no way. We have Kuan Yin, which is care and compassion. Choose to be love. 
do what is right for everyone involved, offer a helping hand. We have the divine director, intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. And then we have Shakti, transformation. Whoa. So I'm automatically I'm seeing a lot of like green energy and I'm seeing a lot of purple energy. So this is heart chakra related and also uh, third eye, uh, a little bit of crown chakra here. Uh, well, definitely crown chakra because of what's going on right here. So yeah, I feel like some of you, I'm getting the message. Some of you have just met somebody or you're just about to meet somebody who's really going to freaking uh, transform you. Um, and it's a very strong connection. I do feel that. And it is a divine connection. Um, it's incredibly compassionate and very, very much love loving. Okay. Um, but I do also feel like this is what you need to work on within yourself right now. Okay. You need to work on caring and having compassion for yourself. And make sure that, you know, you're coming from a heart space of happiness, of love, when it comes to all relationships in your life and whenever you're dealing with somebody else. But I do feel like whoever this is, it is going to be a transformative experience for you. So let's take a look and see what Quan Yin has to say here. Okay. All right. First of all, the keepers of the light want you to acknowledge all the service and commitment you have offered to others. You are all love. If you are finding it difficult with anyone at the moment, the best way you can move forward is to go beyond wanting to understand why or how they are the way they are. Just move beyond their behavior, mistakes, and challenges. This card brings a message of friendship and care. Helping you see those around you do have the best intentions, even if it doesn't always seem that way. Move into compassion and develop a greater understanding. This will elevate your spirit and connection to love. Wow. Okay, and then the Divine Director, which he is right here. Divine intervention, divine intervention is taking place at this time. What is occurring in your life is providing a real learning curve for your soul. Yep, it's making you very strong. You are becoming aware of a sense of purpose in your life. It gives you a sense of joy. It's something that brings you pleasure rather than something you have to work for. Know that your career can complement your purpose, but not define it. But the path you are on at this time is right, and the universe is encouraging you to move forwards. Hmm. Wow. So some of you definitely are coming into learning about like because of the situation, maybe you're having a career shift and a change of heart on what you want to do, but you figured it out and you are going to follow your passion when it comes to your career and it's going to lead you down a really beautiful road and you're going to learn a lot about yourself and um, it's really going to open up your heart because when you follow your passion, when you do what you love, you know, it really, it reflects in, in your face it reflects in your aura and it attracts more of, especially when you're working in a positive light, it's going to attract more positivity towards you. It's going to attract that abundance. It's going it's to attract that love towards you. Okay. So let's take a look at what Shakti says here. Okay. It's interesting because all these, because these have reversals, but all of my cards today came upright, which I thought was really cool. So that's a positive sign. <laughs> So, uh, wonderful changes afoot in your life when the Hindu goddess Shakti comes to support you. All your longing, desire, and focus on something better in your life, coupled with your willingness to do the work, has ignited the life force of the great goddess. She responds now to bring you your heart's desire. Woo! Know that now is the perfect time to move into the highest version of yourself. Are you ready for this change you so badly wanted? Everything depends on how honest and clear you have been and how willing you are now to explore other ways of being authentic in the world. You have the magical feminine divine energy of the creator goddess Shakti to help you when you become open to doing things differently. You are stepping into your destiny. Do so wisely and without guile and you will be amazed at the way your world awakens with breathtaking beauty. Oh my God, you guys. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, okay. So some uh, 
inspirational like type advice message and then we have a love message so oh my god no way abundance hell yes you guys and then you have the only thing that is real is love fix fix oh, excuse me shift your focus back to love and there's like a uh, oh this is so sweet oh this is so beautiful this card and abundance okay I have to say this what is pictured here is the flower called cosmos and this is literally one of my favorite flowers because when you look into the center of it the reason why it's called cosmos is this little yellow little the little uh what are they pistols is that what they're called in the inside correct me if i'm wrong guys um they look like little shooting stars it's it's like you're looking into the cosmos it is the most beautiful fucking flower i love it so i don't know if that means anything to some of you um but it could so let's take a look at the abundance card all in all, this is a pretty dope ass reading here. <laughs> Abundance. And this is talking about like a wildflower wonderland. So like meadows or wildflowers, you know, might have some kind of significance or importance to you. So everything is blossoming in life. Open yourself to receive. Abundance, fulfillment, and prosperity are ready to be activated in your life. Life desires you to prosper. You are moving toward an outpouring of money energy time or love opportunities are limitless however you must take action in the direction of your dreams don't wait for abundance to fall in your lap take steps give deeply and fully don't hold back this card reveals that this is a great time to make investments the more you give with a free and open heart the more you will receive wasn't i saying that exactly be grateful for what you already have and even more will flow to you yes exactly okay so for that whispers of love we have card number seven okay and shift your focus back to love you may have been conditioned to dwell on problems it is important to remember the true reality is love choose to take a deep breath and focus on what is true negativity will disappear when you affirm everything is okay when i choose love there are many things you can do to shift into a more loving flow work at having healthy encouraging conversations with yourselves and others squash any negative inner dialogue and notice the positive aspects and people in your life be realistic about what is going on in your life yes only love is real but there is sadness depression doubt worry and anger this card is all about finding balance in your life so the challenging times are not overwhelming and that you are able to remember that love is at the core of everything. The dominant imagery in this card could represent the tree of life rooted in the earth and extending toward heaven. While you are having a human experience, it can appear that you are alone. Yet in the heavenly realm, we are all one and love prevails. Oh, there are multiple images in this card that symbolize peace, love, and support. Find and meditate on something you are optimistic about. Oh my God. I was getting choked up reading that. <laughs> oh, okay. Woo. So you guys, I am going to pull some final divine doors messages for you to see what doors are opening for you in your life and what messages, what further closing messages you need to hear this time. Oh God, I feel so much love reading off this, this reading right here. It's like, it's like, just my fucking heart feels like it's going to flutter out of my chest and fly away. So I do feel like you guys are a really amazing, loving energy. At least somebody is that's watching this and I fucking adore you, whoever you are. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, no way, you guys. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start off with this one. 1111. Numbers and doubles, synchronicity in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. What did I say? Pass this card on, it says. Sunset. 
Time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sun lights, as the sun's light burns. So some of you are obviously like releasing some shit. And I feel like with this group, because you are, I feel like you're a very sensitive, loving group. It is really important on a regular basis that you cleanse yourself like spiritually, like take salt baths or, um, you know, sage yourself, uh, practice cord cutting. I do feel like that is very important for you guys because I feel like that a lot of you could be very strong empaths and you pick up on other people's energy a lot. And that's part of what makes you so compassionate and uh, caring is you have that heart chakra stuff going on. And I do feel like you do have some definite divine connections and some abilities there. So it's important that you practice that on a regular basis. A note on love. Seek different seasons and enter into the unknown. When love is the focus, foundation and goal, blessed is the body, mind and soul. And you have nothing but love throughout this whole entire reading. So that is very important to you guys. Three of cups. A toast to friendship in the afternoon sun. Three cups and happiness. Three cheers are done. Celebration is near. Secret sketches. Wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. So how many of you are artists? Because it's telling you you need to get going with that shit, obviously. Destiny. One door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. Pass this card on. This is to remind you that everything happens in divine timing and that divine director is there. And, you know, you just need to just concentrate and focus on yourself and work on yourself because everything is destined to happen for you and it will fall into place when the time is right. Forgive and forget. A ritual cleansing of pain and lies. Arise and awake and see a new sunrise. Dude, you have sunset and then you have sunrise. That is fucking crazy. Obviously, you guys are... There's a cycle. And look at this. Look at this Knight of Cup, Knight of uh, Emotions. Knight of Cups is what it is. And you have that cycle, that spiral, that DNA. It's all going to begin again. And then you even have the Tree of Life. And if you read about the Tree of Life, like Yedrasil, and you go go check it out. Go read about North, Norse mythology and read about the Tree of Life. Um... It's fascinating what they talk about in there. It's like, you know, when you when you study that, it's like everything, they get it, and they always did, that, you know, everything falls in cycles, where as everything dies out, it is reborn and comes anew again. So I do feel like that is definitely something that's going on. And I do feel like some of you, there's that 1111, you guys. You know what that means. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for not further notifications. Um... And down in the drop-down box, there is personal reading information to get a personal reading with me or me and my Pisces twin, along with Amazon and Kofi. And please do come say hi to me on Instagram. Um, I love to talk to uh, my viewers and say hello and make new friends that way. So um, I will catch you in the next one, you guys. Bye. For those of you who picked the Kiwi Jasper, which is such a happy stone. I love this stone. I always have. I have some uh, points um, that I wear of of it it just makes me really happy it also looks like whoever likes mint chocolate chip ice cream that's what it kind of reminds me of so oh look and i'm wearing the right color for it too okay so anyway i'm gonna start off with the tarot to see what the subject matter and what um these deities and goddess like what what area of your life this is directed at so we're gonna take a look at that first so we have the eight of emotions so obviously this is the eight of cups this is about moving on leaving something behind um, moving into the next cycle of your life, um, leaving a situation that might not be so good for you. And then we have the lover's card. So here's two scenarios I see with this. Some of you have, or actually three, some of you have made a decision to move on because the, the lover's card is all about decisions. It's not just about love and union and stuff like that. It is about making uh, serious decisions. And I do feel that some of you have just made a major decision about something. It could be leaving a career. It could be leaving a relationship. It could be wanting to move away. Um, it could be starting a new um, course of study. There's just, I feel like you guys have made a decision and you are moving forward from that. I also feel some of you are walking into a new relationship and leaving something behind and moving towards that love of your life. Um, and then some of you are actually leaving a relationship. 
So, um, yeah. I do feel like the ones that are walking towards love right now, there's something very special in store for you with that. It is a whole brand new cycle, a whole new beginning. I do feel like it is divine counterparts. Um, and the ones that are leaving a situation, that's because you're leaving because there is somebody else out there for you and there's some other situation. There's something really good for the people that are leaving. I feel like there's something really good that is going to happen to you personally first and you are going to come into your own power before you meet the next person and you have to absolutely fucking do that before that occurs because in order to be with them, you're going to have to upgrade. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, Let's take a look and see what the, the goddess uh, and what uh, deities or uh, spirit guides are around you at this time. So we have Lady Nada, heart awakening, awaken to acceptance and divine love, give and receive in balance, exactly, oh my God. We have Isis, woo, oh my God, good, I got chills. Uh, magic manifest manifesting, your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality, stay focused. And then we have uh, Yuzumi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Please correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. Uzumi, maybe. Um, and that's humor. So I feel like, and look at the colors. Whoa. I'm seeing more golds and yellows, and then we're seeing a lot of blue. Okay? So this is all throat chakra, and I feel like um, a little bit of heart. Um, and then your... Um, personal power uh, center, your solar plexus chakra. I feel like a little bit of root chakra as well, definitely here. So I feel like you guys need to be concentrating and paying attention to um, balancing out um, your energy and also make sure that you're always like uh, unblocking your chakras and working on those. And I do feel like, because you got that humor card, I feel like you're going to have a fuck ton of fun in the future here. And like, you're going to meet somebody who just like, you can just laugh with and they just make you so fucking happy. And you just have so much fun with them. Like, it's just like life. You cannot believe how life could throw you such a person because it's just like a motherfucking miracle, um, that you could find somebody who lights you up that, that well, and just like, is so funny and charismatic and witty and cute. And you just fucking love the shit out of them. Okay. And they feel that way about you as well. So let's take a look at, I think it, Isis comes first in here. Hmm. Yes. Okay. You are moving into a space where your dream reality is becoming your outward reality. This is an extremely powerful time and it's vital to keep focused on the highest good of all. You no longer want to relive your own history and or feel unsupported. Acknowledging where you once were and how you have changed that situation around you is a powerful focus of gratitude that will align you with the universal abundance. Discipline and commitment are important now. Consider that you are moving between worlds when you daydream or create visions and bring life-enhancing ideas into reality. Magic is manifesting all around you. This is exciting. Wow. I feel like some of you have been working really hard on something. Could be uh, your studies. It could be something with college. It could be like a career, um, like uh, upgrading with your career, um, adv career advancement. And I feel like that is occurring right now. Um, some of you could be manifesting your divine counterpart, and that is what is occurring. Um, so we have Lady Nada. Okay. The cave of your heart is opening wide for you to experience divine love. You have an opportunity to overcome past pain, heartbreak, and letdowns. This is a wonderful time to cherish and love yourself, and then allow yourself to be cherished and loved by others. If you feel love revealing itself clearly in your heart, have courage and move into a state of trust. You are reminded that when true love is present, when divine love is present, there are no obstacles to overcome. It will be there, clear, pure, and real for you to experience. Your relationships are being brought into harmony on all levels of your life. Give and receive divine love with yourself and all those around you. Holy shit. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I mean, wow. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, it's like talking about with Lady Nada, she brings an opportunity to experience divine love, whether through a relationship, adventure, or experience. So it can be any of those or all of those for some of you, for sure. But I do see that it is very awesome. I do see also you guys really need to make sure that you're speaking your truth and being your authentic self at all times, okay? Um, so with Izumi... Uzumi, maybe? I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I do not know how to pronounce her name. I hope I am not butchering it. Seriously. Um, because I don't want to do that. I like her. She looks like a happy, fun person. Oh my God, no way. <laughs> I knew it. <sighs> when the Japanese goddess of laughter and mirth, Uzume, enters your day, be playful and cultivate good-natured humor. Laughter is the best medicine and expe exceptionally healing at this time. Keep your focus on fun and positivity and see the humor if you can. Life is not meant to be all work and no play, all focus and no release. Humor fosters resilience and lightheartedness, alleviates emotional pain, giving a much-needed break from the burdens and speed of life. Now is the time for you to be silly, laugh more, even take up laughing yoga. Yes, the world is serious and your dreams and desires are too, but the joyful goddess Uzume bring, reminds you to enjoy your life and have fun. Exactly. So even though you're stuck indoors for a lot of you, okay, you guys, it's really important, like, put on happy movies, stuff that makes you laugh. Talk to a friend. Go on FaceTime. Talk to people you love and you care about. Have a fucking laugh. Okay, it's important to do that because it does uplift your spirit. And it's just like, I feel like there's something about us, your smile and this person's smile that's going to knock you, that you're going to knock each other out with the way that your smiles are with each other. That's going to be probably like when you meet for the ones that are going to like, who are walking towards their divine counterpart, I feel like when they see you, it's just this fucking grin is just going to go over their face and over yours. And it's just like, there it is, you know, magic happens. So um, I do feel that that I just I'm getting that. So positive. This is fucking crazy. I just peeked at it. <laughs> your um, you know positive advice card or whatever, and then here's your love card. So we have community, and we have all these butterflies, and we have this rainbow energy, and it's just beautiful. And it just reminds me of this kind of you know just like this fucking utter happiness, total fucking transformation, a total change of heart even, you know, your heart is awakened. It's just like your chakras, you know, need, are going to be aligned and you need to be working on aligning them at all times. You guys, um, it's just fucking beautiful. I do feel like you're going to like right now for some of you, you're going to be joining a community of like-minded kindred spirits or else you are part of one right now that is helping to uplift you during this time. And oh my God, true love, this love, is once in a lifetime. Holy crapola. <laughs> oh, it makes my heart feel all fluttery. Oh my God, there's the unicorns again. Oh my God. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. If you watched my last reading, you probably heard us say, I'm telling you, I, I'm not even kidding you. And <laughs> not all the cards I own have unicorns all throughout them, okay? And not all of them have butterflies. But for some reason, this energy is dominating lately. It is a collective consciousness energy. Uh, that is the unicorn and butterflies and moths. Also bats. Bats have come up quite a bit too. So just saying. And also I'm going to mention like when it comes to flowers, roses has been something that is just, con I mean, just constant. So let's take a look and see what it says for community. Um, support is all around you. Even if you are not consciously aware of it, allow yourself to be supported Give encouragement to others. The more you allow yourself to be supported, the more your dreams can come true. If you believe that you have to do it all alone, you will. Your true family is not just blood relationships. Sometimes the strongest family ties are, ties, excuse me, are friends who know who you are. Sometimes they are your ancestors and soul family who reside in spirit. This card speaks of finding your community and your people. It is a card of remembering that your people are at your side, believing in you, loving you, and standing strong beside you. Call on your community and ask for their assistance. They are only a thought away. Wow, you guys. That's fucking awesome. 
<laughs> oh my God. Ah, okay. So for true love. Mm-hmm. Oh yes. I just fucking love that card. Holy shit. Um, for some of you, do any of you guys play guitar or are you a musician? Or is do you know, um, are you interested in somebody who does? I'm just curious. Okay. So this is the love of a lifetime. This relationship is part of your life's plan. Unconditional love is easier said than done. Remember the love aspect of your partnership. If it is a true relationship, the connection will be almost perfectly balanced. Maintaining the love in a relationship takes more than good intentions. Positive intentions are a solid first step, but it is better to learn how to nurture your relationship each day. This is a vital, this is vital to staying connected and growing your love into a strong bond. Be open to love when it shows up in your life. Be authentic and avoid changing yourself to mirror your potential partner. Make sure you are voicing your values. And what did I say? I felt like heavy throat chakra and you need to be your authentic self and speak your truth. Exactly. Okay. Um, make sure you are voicing your values. True love is elusive and rare. Look for someone who meets your emotional, spiritual, and physical needs. The young lovers, hello, the lover's card, oh my God, eventual kiss might be portraying a true love kiss. The sparrow on the left may indicate elevated thoughts and standards. The sparrow encourages you to keep your heart light, your heart light on and release heavier energy. The child next to the sparrow represents childlike ideology and is a message to enjoy the moments as they present themselves and have some fun and fucking laugh. The pair of unicorns at the head of the partner on the right evokes, invokes the magical energy surrounding the relationship you aspire to achieve. Wow, you guys. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay, so we have Divine Doors messages to close out this reading for you guys. And see what Divine Doors messages and Divine Doors are opening up. Let's see. What messages do you have for this group? What messages? Oh, oh wow. What messages do you have for this group? What messages do they need to hear? What messages need to be heard? Okay, a lot. <laughs> All right. Spirit is mouthy with you guys. All right, let's see what we have to say here. So first up, we have this Buddha. Like, not Buddha, Buddhist monk right here going into a door. Divine Guardian, do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Pass this card on. You have... Trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing's not yours, but the universe at play. Have faith and breathe and trust in the universe. Exactly. We have birth. Another gateway appears in view. New life is unfolding with blessings to you. Mm-hmm. Magic is manifesting. Here, I'm going to turn this over so you can read it still, if you can. Okay. So we have this one right here. Bless this space. Your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palo Santo or sage will clear the air. We got this one. A stranger's grace. Ego fears the sudden danger, but never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger. Uh-huh. I don't think you know this person yet. Okay? Just saying. Mm-hmm. And that's funny because that came up with the last group too. Oh, look at this blue door. This is fucking awesome. That's kind of like the color of my front door right there, pretty much. Oh, and there's like a pinnacle on it. That is such a fucking badass door. The art of life. There's no sacred light in the aura of, invisible, of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin. Let your love dance in sight. So quit hiding who you are and be your authentic self, okay? Because if you don't, <laughs> this ain't going to happen, all right? So now we have this awesome one right here. Offerings. Abundance lies in the heart that allows. Share more than expected and see love come around. So this is about, you know, giving as well as receiving. You want to be doing that. We have this one with this beautiful, pretty view. Begin here. 
Do not fear what travel brings, my dear. The moment is yours. Begin now and here. Wow. Awesome. So there's this guy. So some of you, like if you're moving on or you're traveling and you're scared to go to this new place or whatever is going on here or starting a new job or new career, don't be afraid because you're going to be fine and you're going to do really well and you're going to find fucking awesome happiness, I feel like. Morning memory. It's healing gift runs a destined course. The morning dawn are in our inspired, ugh, inspired source. Meditate under the sun. A cure for longing. Love is happiness, a spark inside. Live de deliberately and choose boldly. Then you have arrived. We have this one. Destiny. One door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. Yes. You guys. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have this one. Inner power. Be your own command. You brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. Again, you guys have gotten, don't be afraid. Don't fear. Okay, some of you are afraid. You need to stop that. And we have this one, and there's a moon right there. That is dope. <laughs> Draw down the moon. The forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, singing soft songs. Find us in the wild. Good night. So mm, you had stuff about meditating in the sun and going under the moon. So if any of you are doing manifestations right now, it is important to do them, to balance them out in the daylight, in the sun, under the sun, and also as well as under the moon. Okay. So that's all I have for this group. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications of new videos I put out. There's personal reading information in the drop down box to get a personal reading with me or me and my Pisces twin plus Amazon and Kofi information and Instagram information. So please do feel free to come say hi to me on Instagram. I do love to talk to um, my viewers and meet you guys and converse and we have like a lot of fun over there. So um, come say hi. Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one. You Bye. Who picked the group number four with the lemon chrysopase? This is going to be your reading. I'm going to start off with the tarot cards to see what area of life and what's going on. Where is this message directed? So, uh, and who are, uh, what are the deities trying to tell you? Like, what part of your life is being affected right now? So, we have, wow, we have the Ace of Emotions and then we have the Ten of Voices, which this is the Ace of Cups. And this is the Ten of Swords. Okay. I'm going to go like this because I feel this is the order it goes in. I feel like you guys are definitely closing out a cycle of your life and you're welcoming in new love. You're having new love and compassion for yourself. Not just like welcoming just, you know, a new lover or whatever into your life. I feel this has more to do with you. And you're realizing your self-worth, you're coming into your full power, and your heart is blossoming and opening, and it's, it's ready to receive love, okay? Now, love, when I say receive love, that means not just from a lover, okay? I'm talking from friends, from, you know, just the universe in general. You are, because look at her, look at her. She's all bent back, like, you know, she's like raising her face up to the, the sky. And um, she's asking, you know, she's open to the universe. And she's saying, do with me what you will. Show me the way. And it's like this rebirth and this spiritual awakening occurring to where you're, sacrifice and you're, you're sacrificing yourself over to the universe. You're finally realizing, okay, I'm fighting a losing fucking battle here. Time to give it up and just open myself up to new possibilities of what the universe has in store for me, what the gods and goddesses have in store for me, what does spirit have in store for me, what are my angels, what are my spirit guides trying to tell me, please, I'm open up for it, I'm here for you to guide me, that is what I feel like, because I feel like you've gone through some shit, okay, and it's been painful, and it's been a long fucking endless battle, where you've just been stabbed in the back, you've had fucking drama galore and finally you've reached this fucking breaking point you've hit rock bottom and now you're just like i'm done with this shit it's time to move the fuck on and i am done 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 stick a fork in me i'm fucking done that's how you feel but because of that you've done this it has literally opened your heart okay and like 
started to heal the wound, you know? Um, I feel, oh, it's just like a whole brand new beginning of, 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 new, of self love, self determination, coming into your power. So let's see what uh, goddess and deities are around you at this time. We have Mama Killa, which is the moon. We have Radha, which is soul flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship, harmony, and healing. Hello. And, oh, my God. <laughs> Hello, lover. Uh, this is Kernunos, life force. Uh-huh. Express, express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Okay. That's clarifying some stuff. You know why this is happening? This is happening, and I can't believe this has kind of come up within multiple of the groups here, okay? This is happening because this healing aspect is happening because guess what? You're calling in your divine counterpart. It's happening, okay? And you might feel some serious... Mm, you, you're going to feel that life force. Okay, for some of you who are going through this, you could have gone through a Kundalini awakening for sure. Um, but you feel like more, I'm just going to say it, horny as fuck. Okay, and because you can feel that other, that counterpart's energy. And it's like, you know, and it's like, um, like that flame is ignited and you can feel it burning inside. And it's like, you're just like, I've got to have them. Where are they? You know, kind of a feeling. And because that's what he's all about. He is very passionate, extremely. And he is just pure life force. Now think about what is pure life force. It's motherfucking chaos, okay? In a way, and it's incredibly potent, incredibly fiery. It is so damn divine in nature, it's not even funny, okay? It is everything. It is everything. You, you can feel it all around you. It's not just, maybe your eyes are reopened now and you can see, you can feel the pulse of the energy of the earth. You can feel it in the trees. You can feel it in the, the bees and the birds buzzing outside. It's just like you can feel that love and that passion radiating in your surroundings and throughout nature and everywhere around you. And you might be picking up on that very intensely at this time right now. Uh, every time I see his face, I'm just like, oh, yes. I'm wearing him around my neck right now, by the way. <laughs> so I'm not surprised he showed his little face here. So, uh, yeah. And I do feel like you need to be making sure that you're keeping that sacral chakra clear. I also feel, because I'm seeing a lot of blue, I'm seeing a lot of green, I'm seeing a little bit of purple here. Um, it's really important that you speak your truth. Always speak your truth and always be authentic in yourself. Do not put on masks or hide for other people. If something, if somebody says something that bothers you, just walk away and just be like, oh, well, you know, that's your opinion. You have to live with yourself next day. So whatever. Bye. You know, you don't take on other people's bullshit is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And I do feel like you definitely have something in, on deck here. I'm curious to see what these two cards are going to say, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read these to you. Uh, read the messages that are here. We are going to start with my boy, Kernunos. My, I, I consider him like a divine counterpart. I swear. I'm not even kidding you, okay? Because that is the energy that I jive with hardcore. I just feel that in my gut. It's, it's crazy, but it's true. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so, I'm going to tell you a little bit about him first because I feel, feel like a lot of people always ask me, who is he? And they don't know who he is. He is ancient as all get out. Okay. He's the horned God. So Kernunos, also known as uh, Herne, is a Celtic stag God who represents connection to the earth. He is one of the oldest recognized Celtic gods and features on the uh, Gunderstrup cauldron, a giant silver vessel from the Iron Age. He is a lover of the great mother and impregnates the land so that it will be filled with life. He can help us form a connection with the animal spirits and ancestors of our land. Exactly. And it, that is like the, when I connected with him, it's just like, I didn't ask, I just opened myself up like this. Okay. And just said, do with me, send me, you know, whoever to come to be around me. And this is what I got. Okay. And I got Freya and Freya too. 
and um, and Kali. <laughs> I love Kali. Kali's awesome. So um, with him, though, I have like a strong fucking connection. And it's really weird because the more, you know, as time went on, the more I could like literally pick up on this vibe, on this energy. And it's like, I can just sit here and I can look out my window right now because I'm surrounded by a fuck ton of nature and trees. It's just like, I can feel him there. And then when I go outside at night in under the moonlight, under the full moon, and I go into that back behind my house where it is just all open space and woods, it's like, I can feel that presence right there in the woods watching. It's crazy, you guys. It's just so intense. So anyway, the message with him is, there is a deep buildup of life force within you now and a need to channel it into action. You may have extra energy or be more alert than usual or be aware of a sense of increased sensual or sexual energy. If you have been unsure how this ties into your spiritual path, know that it can allow you to access the richness of your soul. When we are not expressing ourselves sexually, our spiritual potential can become tamed or muted. So if you are denying yourself a desire, ask yourself how you can fulfill it. Ask Kernunos to help you access your sexual self so that you can express it with integrity and in a way that honors your soul. If you and your partner are trying for a child, this card appears, and this card appears, fertility is very possible, especially if Bridget, Kernunos' twin flame, is present too. And it's interesting that they mentioned twin flame because now we're going to go on to her, and that literally says soul flame. So let's see what she has to say, you guys. I passed her. There we are. Okay. Loving union, connection, and relationship harmony are key at this time. It's important to remember, though, that relationships won't make you whole. Only your own love can do that. You now have opportunities to find lost parts of yourself. Yeah, like your sexuality. You guys not, do not be afraid of sexuality. Okay. I think a lot of religious practices out there have beat it into people's heads that it's wrong or evil or you're dirty or you're bad if you're a sexual, sensual person. And that's just fucked up and wrong, okay? You're human. This is part of being human. This is what you are. This is why you were put here. And that itself is divine, okay? So anybody who tries to say it isn't needs to have their head examined, all right? Um, so... Anyways, it's important to remember, though, that relationships will make you whole. Only your own love can do that. You now have opportunities to find lost parts of yourself. Maybe sensual aspects or the capacity to cherish yourself. Exactly. The relationships around you will then begin to reflect the love you have for yourself. Increased romance, love, and opportunities to express divine harmony through love are all becoming apparent in your life. You deserve divine love. And Radha, with her Shakti presence is here to awaken this loving connection within you now. Exactly. This is part of, maybe you guys are going, you have been for years in this dry, freaking celibate type of spell. Um, and you just were like, what is this? I don't understand what, you know, why people have relationships. What is sex about? What is this? You know, it's just so boring or lame. Honey, <laughs> it is life force itself. That is what it is. And it is also, I must make note of, meant to be respected. It is not to be abused. Sex can be abused just like drugs and food can. Do not abuse it. Respect it because it can actually heal. That's right. You heard me. Sex can heal. Just ask Marvin Gaye. Okay? <laughs> All right. So anyways, um, and that, that could be a little song for you guys. Check it out. Sexual healing. Yeah, uh-huh. So anyways, that's your theme song for this group. So we have Mama Killa, okay? Mama Killa, the Incan goddess of the moon, presides over the power of cycles and seasons. I don't believe this. This is kind of trippy because this kind of pile kind of nods back to the last, uh, what was it? Was it pile one? I don't know. So anyways, uh, the moon rules the night sky, returning full 13 times in a year. Exactly. There's 13 full moons in a year, you guys. Just saying. And this is also 32, which equals 5, which is change. The ancients marked time by the moon to know when to plant, when to harvest, when to store food, and when to celebrate fertility. Holy shit, you guys. 
Right now, you are invited to see what is familiar and decide whether you need to improve it improve on it or leave things as they are. The answer to your inquiry can be found in the timing of things and the cycle you're in. You can apply the idea of natural cycles to relationships, creative projects, personal growth, and more. If you are honest with yourself, you will see there is no way to control these cycles, only to use the creative energy they offer to help you. If your relationship is unclear yet brimming with potential, you might turn to the new moon energy that shows up in the spring cycle of life. In that case, you just need to allow the relationship to grow naturally and be clear in your intentions. When your outer world seems to be slowing down with obstacles rising up and temporarily blocking your every move, do not put up a resistance. Instead, take advantage of the need uh, to rest and uh, recalibrate your intentions as you wait for the cycle to change. No matter what, like the cycles of the moon, there is divine order in everything that is happening in your life right now. Once you know this, the goddess Mama Kila welcomes you to her divine moon dance of co-creation. Wow, this group is all about that fertility and the sexual healing and, you know, having that divine sensuality. I feel this is a very sexy group, okay? Um... So your like, you know, advice kind of card here, and this is your love card. So let's see what we have. We have enlightenment, whoa, and love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self worth. And that is also what this is about. Okay, because when you're in touch with your divine sensuality and sexuality, you realize your self worth. Okay, you understand what this means. You don't just give it up to any old jackass that walks along. No, this is something sacred and something special that you own. It belongs to you. Okay, and you only choose to give it to those who are worthy of it. Comprende? Good. Okay, so let's check out enlightenment here. All right. Vast galaxy. Wow. Awesome. Hmm. Okay, enlightenment occurs when one steps out of the confines of an ordinary definition of self and expands into a greater awareness of the self within the universe. You are now reaching into the invisible realm of spirit and connecting with what you cannot see. Forces beneath the surface are supporting you on your journey. Have faith in yourself. You are so much more than you believe yourself to be. Have patience that there is a plan unfolding. The sky is the limit. This card represents enlightenment and signals that you are entering into a time of expansive transformation in a luminous and remarkable way. Trust that the changes ahead are for the greater good, for most certainly they are. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're gonna look at card number 31. Oh, you know what's really crazy? This is card 31 and this is card 32. You got successive numbers here. All right, so let's check out this and see what it has to say. Love makes the difference. Love is strong and can endure anything. If you trust love, everything else will fall into place. When there are challenges, it is important to keep your heart open. Healthy boundaries, hello, are an essential aspect of creating trust in a relationship. You should be able to give freely from your heart to your partner's heart. Your partner, in turn, should be able to share knowing you will treasure this mutual respect. Exactly. That is who you give it to. Someone who has mutual respect for you. If they don't have that, they can fuck off. Okay? Sorry for the langley, but that's what I got to say about that. Use kindness as a rudder in relationships to keep communications and feelings on course. Kindness is the value that allows both parties to feel understood and nurtured. It validates loving interactions. Keep kindness at the forefront of difficult conversations to keep content, contempt and anger in check. A young woman plays a record through a morning glory speaker to call to her love while she travels on a turbulent ocean. She daydreams of lovers riding in a boat on placid water. Think about what you want in your life. Love will help to set things right. Remember, relationships need work to keep them strong. Exactly. 
So some divine door messages for you guys um, to end this reading. Let's see what comes up for you guys. What divine doors, what divine messages do they need to hear as this closes out? What do they need to know? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to do that one. That one came out. Okay. So, let's take a look. You got a few here, you guys. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we have this door, which is trust the universe. Intuition has wandered and led you astray. The timing's not yours, but the universe is at play. Have faith and breathe. That's come out with more than one group. We have this beautiful card here. Three of cups, toast to friendship in the afternoon sun. Three cups in happiness, three cheers are done. Celebration is near. That's crazy, that came out for other stuff too. This one did too, wow. Bless this space. Your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palo Santo or Sage will clear the air. So that's basically telling you, you need to, you guys need to keep like cleansing yourself on a regular basis. Yeah, this, this one came out before too. Offerings. Abundance lies in the heart that allows. Share more than expected and see love come around. Pass this card on. We have this card. Freedom flows. Don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine sacred reason. Wow. We have this hummingbird song, nectar of sweetness and joy it brings, the hummingbird's healing as medicine it sings. Pass this card on. We have this one with the moon. This one came out in the last group. Draw down the moon. The forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, singing soft signs, si singing soft songs. Find us in the wild. Good night. And you got that, the moon. Holy shit, you guys. Wow, you guys definitely need to work with those moon cycles and draw down the moon on a regular basis. If you don't know what that is, you can Google it. So check this out. Three-eyed raven. As sunrise hits, draw upon the dew. A messenger raven cause out the news. Prepare for the unexpected. That's interesting because we had uh, the moon mentioned. We had, um, wasn't there something else? about like sun or something on here. Okay, anyways, so we got this door. Destiny, one door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. Pass this card on. This also came up. We got this one too. Ooh, that's pretty. A note on love. Seek different seasons and enter into the unknown. When love is the focus, foundation and goal, blessed is the body, mind and soul. A moment's joy. Ooh, that's pretty. Sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will. Wow. And then we have this one. The sacred lotus. Compassion in action, the chosen tool. I see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel. Oh, whoa. And look, she's got a lotus. Holy shit. Oh my God. Okay, all right, guys. Not bad. I find it fascinating. Some good shit here, you guys. So anyways, um, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications of when I put new videos out. In the drop-down box, there's personal reading information to get a personal reading with me or me and my Pisces twin, plus Amazon and Kofi information. And please do come say hi to me over on Instagram. I love to talk to everybody who watches my videos and just, I love to shoot the shit and say hi. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.